Say I'm even sweating. Hey, this economy is really dealing with me, oh. No man. No eh. <laughs> I beg I have eh. <laughs> Hi guys, hi besties, hi lovers of BBN. Welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Neche BBN. Welcome back to another episode of Just Gist and Talks. So if you're new to my channel, thank you. Please try to subscribe to my channel. And if you're an old subscriber, Odogu, Odogu ne pempe. Thank you very much. I welcome each and every one of you to my channel. And this is another episode. Like, I mean, eight episodes of Just Gist and Talks. Like, it's not easy. Do you know, I almost lost this account. I'm telling you, like, I hit 71 subscribers. And I literally, I almost lost this account for three weeks i couldn't log in into this account i was having issues so i had to open another account to know if i can like just survive with it so one day i just decided to just enter this account to know what's up and boom boom the thing boom 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 my account is back to normal and i'm so super super happy and i can't wait to you know give you guys all the content that has been stuck on my phone for a very long time now like i can't wait to feed you guys hope you're ready to eat what i'm about to cook for you people hope you are ready so today i'll be talking about something really really interesting and it's something that i've actually like i want to learn from it as well but i'm learning though so today's topic is the type of men you should look out for in this 2024 i'm i would have said look out for them in 2025 as well but maybe 2025 they'll change pattern you know men you know some men not all the men who are big oh you know some men uh -huh. You know them. You know those type of men. Mm -hmm. Those 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 type. Those type. Those type. Mm. Not your type of man. If you are, if you have men that are like that, <laughs> be looking out for them. So I'm saying this for my single ladies out there, like me. Type of men that you should look out for this 2024. Now that December is approaching, you need to shine your eye. Shine your eyes. Not every guy that you see that you hook up with. I beg. Have fear of God in your eye. Fear God. If you don't have any other thing to fear, fear God. You didn't hear me? Uh -huh. So number one type of men that you should look out for is all these social media big boys. Please look out for this type of guys because they are of no good. There is nothing good that have come out from any of these guys that post about cars, post about their lifestyle, What's about them dancing on social media up and down? Like it's just like if they don't post on social media, they will they will buy. So look out for this type of men. These are not the type of men that you want to hang around with, ladies. They are not. Trust me. Especially if you're a woman that you know that type of standard of men that you want to you know associate yourself with. You want a man with high IQ. You want a man that has emotional intelligence. You really want to settle down. Trust me. Social media big boys are not the way. There are no 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 for you. So you know those guys that have been iron. Go rush now and go and block them. Trust me, they are not the right men for you. They are not all. They are not. Until you go and marry had I known. Or you go and start crushing on had I known. Be warned. You, you. That girl that's looking at me now is you. Warn yourself. When you before you sleep this night, you warn yourself. Leave social media big boys alone. They are bad news to you. You they hear me? You they hear me? Uh-huh. So, number two men that you should look out for hmm, are men that spoil their women. I know most women will be like, uh-uh, Bibian, I don't understand. So, my man cannot spoil me again. Nobody spoil 
is different from pampering. A man that pampers his woman is so much different than spoil. A man that spoils his wife or a man that spoils his woman is a man that whether you do wrong or right, he knows when you are wrong. He knows when you are right, but he doesn't say anything about it. When you are wrong, he'll just say, baby, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He doesn't want to correct you. He doesn't have the strength because he doesn't see you as something valuable that he needs to like like caution and to say this is not actually right you don't have it's like women you don't need those type of men a man that spoils you a man that he's not even listening to you he's there he'll be nodding head like toro toro to 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 but he doesn't understand what you are saying he's just like yes yes anything that you say yes anything that you say yes there's no no in his mouth so trust me this is not the type of man that you want in your life you want a man that will push you you want a man that will tell you the truth. You want a friend. You want a best friend in your man. So trust me, those type of men are a no-no. Don't go for men that spoil you. You are not going to enjoy that relationship. So please, don't go for them. So number three, the goody two-shoe men. <laughs> you see those men? Those ones, these overnice men, that they will come out there. They'll come out there inside. They'll be treating you like trash. But then when they come out there, they'll be they'll be treating you like wham, egg. They'll be telling people, ah, don't play, don't play with my baby. My baby is this. My baby is that. But when both of you are inside, he will beat you. He will he will he will throw your he will throw your property up and down. Like he will make you feel like you are nothing in his face. You get you know those type of men that. You know their true character. Like their true char- character is very disgusting. But when they are out there with their friends, they change to someone different. They change to someone different. Like they are, they are those type of guys that are nice. Like they want approval from people. They want people to say, yeah, yeah this person is very nice. Oh, this person is very good. Oh. Why you know very well the kind of partner that you have. Trust me. This is not the kind of person you want to deal with. When you notice that in someone that you're about to like be in a relationship with, the person is like like a chameleon, please trust me, it is time for you to leave that relationship or it's time for you not to even get into it. And please, no man is going to change just because he married you. <laughs> you're not a saint. You're not an angel. So it's better you use your head or use your tongue and count your teeth because I will not come and count it for you when you start being in a in a unconducive marriage or unconducive relationship try to try to use your head try to carry yourself waka out from waiting you waka enter hey most people always tell you something it's because you don't have jesus in you that's why go and seek for the face of jesus these children go and seek for the face of jesus see i'm even sweating hey this economy is really dealing with me oh no man no eh. <laughs> I beg I have air. <laughs> I have air, they breathe. If I know they breathe, that's when they talk to, to you people. Uh-huh. So I they I they breathe. So another man to be you know to be conscious about as well are those men that don't acknowledge God. Hmm. You want to be in a relationship with a man that's always talking bad about um, his pastor that's always talking bad about the clergy always saying oh that this pa- this church the only thing that they used to do is to take money from people take money take money take money um like this pastor ah this pastor looks like a bad boy like they're always looking for something to say like we know that literally some of these churches are not godly you get boy you is that going to make you change your perspective about god if church made you change your perspective about Christianity and about God, then trust me, this is not the type of person that you want to see yourself surrounded with. It goes both ways. But today I'm talking about men in general that good women need to like look out for. So don't go for a man that doesn't acknowledge God. A man that is just a church goer. Don't go. Sis, don't go. Don't go there. Please don't go for this type of men. I'm telling you for free that these men are going to destroy you. Especially when you know that you are someone that loves Jesus. Okay? So I always advise, if you are someone that is not a Christian, 
you you get go for a lady that is not a christian as well marry a non-christian person you get if you are a lady and you are looking for a christian guy to marry then go out there and look for a christian guy and marry don't get marry a non-christian guy and then you think that because you're a christian in the marriage you now automatically change him to be a christian <laughs> now wow I don't know how you are going to do that, but if you think you can do it, then go and do it. Let us see. Go and do it, sister. Let us see. Sister Angel. Please, I beg, leave this man. These are that like don't go for someone like me that I'm I'm a, I'm I'm a Christian girl. I don't want to go for someone that is not a Christian guy, like someone that doesn't acknowledge God. You get so nah, it's a no no for me. So you know what you want there out there, sis, but I'm just talking to my Christian girl is okay. The type of men that you should look out for. This 2024. This one that December don't they wish. Everybody go they, they body go they pepper everybody. I won't get married. I won't get married. I won't get boyfriend. I want oh my, it's not a sin if you're a single. See me, I'm single, I'm glowing. I'm glowing in the Lord. You get when the right man comes, the right man comes. Me, I know the I know the first any man to marry me. I know they do all those kind of things with you people. So I'm chilling, okay? I'm chilling. So, as a lady, you need to be chilling as well, okay? Let the right man cash you. <laughs> Is that how they say it? Oh, my God. I'm having so much fun today. So, I hope you actually, like, understood what I'm saying, ladies. You understood, ba? Mm -hmm. If you understood, then we have come to the end of this um, topic. Eh? Next Next um, episode, we are going to be talking about another topic for Iota. So, see you in my next video. Bye.